Okay, so hello guys. At ako nga po pala si Jaisel De Vera at muling nagbabalik sa channel na ito. So if you are new to this channel, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell para makapanood ka ng may iba't ibang videos about home-based jobs at anything na po ng pagkakitaan online. 120,000 pesos po ang nawala or na-scam sa isang subscriber natin na itago natin sa pangalang Jemima. Siya po ay nagpadala ng liham sa ating tanggapan kung saan ipinamahagi niya kung paano siya in-scam ng nakilala niya sa online dating app. Kaya ikaw na nanonood ngayon, mag-ingat sa paggamit ng online dating app dahil maaaring paasahin ka nito at ma-scam ka pa. Kaya naman, I want you to stay tuned until the end para wala kayong ma-miss na kahit anong information. Tara na't simulan na nating basahin ang liham ni Jemima. Hi, Jazel! Isa ako sa mga laging nanonood ng vlogs mo sa YouTube and gusto ko sanang i-share sa iyo itong naranasan ko para maraming tao ang maging aware lalo na ngayon na in na in ang online dating apps. I am 28 years old, single, and it all started in Tinder last August 2020. I met this guy on Tinder who claims to be Chen Shu. He is a Hong Kongese and he is 29 years old. Uy, pogi siya. Malaop pa ang datingan. Alam mo yun, para mga PSJ yung aurahan niya. Though kailangan nating i-blur yung picture kasi hindi natin alam kung talagang siya ba yan or gumamit siya ng ibang litrato. We matched in Tinder and sabi niya, hindi siya active masyado sa Tinder. So he asked me if I have WhatsApp. I downloaded WhatsApp and we chatted in WhatsApp minsan dahil sa busy schedule ng work. So parang sa isang linggo ay four times lang kami mag-chat that time. Few things he told me about himself is that he owns a car business and he is an only child. Parang ito yung mga ano, no? yung mga nasa Korea novela, yung tipong CEO wow. tapos tagapagmana kasi nag-iisa lang siyang anak. May mga ganun. As time goes by, we started to chat even more and he even screenshots his food for the day take a selfie and send it to me and even he sent me his video of driving a Mercedes-Benz in Hong Kong. Oy! Grabe! Big time si kuya mo. We chatted for like every day na. Ayan, syempre pumatal na si ating mo, may Mercedes-Benz shot. <laughs> and we started to exchange sweet conversations na mapapa siya na ba besh? Pumatol na si ate mo, girl. Mm, may ganon. September 2020 to November 2020 when he finally gives me the hint that he is trading Bitcoin. He is sending me graphs like this. Ayan. Diba? Mga analyzation, mga ganon. He told me that he is a bit busy because his side hustle was trading Bitcoin. I told him I have a little knowledge on Bitcoin hodl and he volunteered na tuturuan niya ako ng short-term investment. Ah, nag-offer na ang kuya mo. Then, everyday, lagi na niya akong kinukulit to download the app Binance. Okay, Binance is legit. Di pa kasi ako nagamit ng Binance that time. Sa PDAX pa lang ako nag invest or huddle. I attach here some of our saved conversation wherein talagang pinipilit niya akong mag-short-term investment. So, ito po yung kanilang screenshot conversation sa WhatsApp. Bitcoin was down this morning. Now, it's up again. So, you've lost an opportunity. Glad it's up again. I just bought Bitcoin a while ago. Haha. -ha. I thought I will regret it. I bought Bitcoin this morning via PDAX. How many Bitcoins did you buy today? <laughs> How many Bitcoins? Ibig sabihin, hindi lang one Bitcoin, but Bitcoins. Big time ang kuya mo, girl. Ayan. Not much. Oh, syempre. Not much naman talaga. Well, tomorrow, you can go to Binance to buy currency and to make short-term investment. So, para mapapakagat ka talaga dito kasi Binance ang nire-recommend niya. Okay? 
So, ayan, sabi nga dito ni Jemima, Since I know that Binance is a well-known platform sa buong mundo, I downloaded it and nag-deposit ako ng around 7,000 pesos. He instructed me to transfer my money from Binance to this so-called SGX website. I asked him why. He told me that dun kami mag-short-term investment sa SGX. Okay, so SGX. Okay, let's try to search for SGX. So, when I searched SGX, guys, ito ang lababa, Singapore Exchange. So, it's a legit company, guys, and it's well-known sa Singapore. So, ginagamit po yan sa stock exchange, no? Sa Singapore. Hindi po siya cryptocurrency or Bitcoin, something-something like that. No, it's not. Well, anyway, let's just continue. Anto, sabi niya, hindi ko rin alam na nasa isip ko noon, but when I search on the web, napapayag niya ako kasi it's a legit Singaporean exchange. And sabi ko, sige, so yun na umpisa ng pagkatanga ko, Jaisel. <laughs> what we did a while ago, SGX, ba? It's legit naman sa Singapore. Okay? Pero nakakapagtaka, ba? Nasa Binance ka na, tapos hindi pa sa ibang website. This is the screenshot of the SGX website he gave me. Since nagre-review po tayo ng mga exchange platforms, so kung makikita ninyo yung kanyang itsura, talagang cryptocurrency exchange po siya. And ang pagkakaintindi natin dito sa SGX mismo na platform, wala po tayong makikitang cryptocurrency. It's more like uh, commodities, equity, derivatives, mga ganun lang. He taught me step by step on how to have an account where they require me to have my phone number as my username and my photo selfie together with my ID taken and uploaded on their website prior to approval of having an account to their website. So, ganun naman po talaga ang proseso when you sign up on an exchange. So, this is the screenshot kung saan naganap ang short-term investment. Okay, so let's check. Hindi siya spot trading, guys, eh, kung titingnan nyo. Ano siya? Contract trading. So, pero hindi ko mag-gets itong delivery time. Meron siyang 30 second, 120 second, 300 second, tas 1 hour, 48 hours. So, para siyang ano, uh, hindi siya stop loss, hindi siya ganun. So, I'm sorry, ha? hindi kasi din talaga ako maalam sa contract trading. Pero ang pagkakalam ko sa contract trading is, Stop loss siya, yung mga ganun, ba? Eh, ngayon lang po yata ako nakakita ng ganitong uh, contract trading which is may delivery time. Comment down below if ganito po ba talaga. It's, it's more like ano eh, parang binary option, ba? So, ayan. And ito sabi niya, most of the time he instructed me to click 120 seconds. Ano siya, no? Two minutes lang. 2 minutes lang is magkakaroon ka ba ng ano? Ah, okay. Magkakaroon ka ng 10% of income siguro. Kasi 10% yun nandito. Uh, that is a uh, BTC-USDT pair, no? So, Bitcoin nga yung ginamit nila. Since maliit yung capital ko, maliit lang den yung nakukuha kong profit. At the end of the night, yung 7,000 ko is kumita ng around 2,000 pesos, which is not bad. Natalo din kami ng mga around 4,000 pesos that night, kaya net profit ko lang is 2,000. After that, he taught me to withdraw it by sending the USDT from SGX to Binance and then Binance to Gcash. After that night, natuwa ako kasi kumita ako ng 2,000 pesos in just one night. And he told me that the bigger the capital, the bigger profit and less chances of risk. What? Less chances of risk? It works the other way around. Like, pag nag-invest ka ng malaki, malaki rin dapat yung loss. Kulit na ni kuya, no? Masyado siyang, masyado siyang mapang-uto. Mas risky daw kasi pag maliit yung capital. Yan yung mga sinasabi niya sa akin that time na more nagpaniwala sa akin to invest more. Ito na nga. Ayun na nga. At ito na ang umpisa ng part 2 ng pagkatanga ko, Jaisel. I started to invest more. Deposit sa Binance, sent to SGX of me not investigating if the website is really legit. Kasi naranasan ko na kumita once. So, I assume na agad that this is legit and legal website. Ayan, nag-deposit na yata siya ng 1,730.90 USDT. Wow, unlucky. 
Ke. And kumikita na din ako ng mas malaki every time na mag-short term investment kami. Sinasabayan ko yung trade niya. But the problem is, hindi ko na ma-withdraw yung money sa SGX website kasi hindi ko daw na-trade yung 100% yung na-deposit ko that time. Meron silang ganun na rule. Hindi naman ako marunong sa short term investment. So sinabi ko sa kanya yon na hindi ko ma-withdraw yung money. Na sabi niya sa akin, is itry na lang daw bukas. So ito na guys, tomorrow came and pinipilit na naman niya ako na mag-invest ng mas malaki. Pinag-invest ka na naman ng mas malaki para maka-withdraw? Meaning, I have to deposit again double the amount nung nasa SGX kanina. Sabi pa niya sa akin, isasagutin na niya yung another 1,000 USDT basta maglagay ako ng another 1,000 USDT to make it 2,730 0.98 USDT. Siya na magpapasa ng another 1,000 USDT para malaki yung capital ko. Ibalik ko na lang daw sa kanya after. So, I deposit 80% of my whole savings sa Binance to transfer. Ay, nako, ate girl, why did you do that? Ay, pauto tayo ng bonggam bongga. Grabe talaga. So, ito na, sabi niya, ewan ko ba, Jaisel, pero parang nagpaparamdam na sa akin na ito na yung part 3 ng katangahan ko. <laughs> Kasi sa Binance pa lang, on that night, December 4, 2020, is nagloloko na yung transfer from bank to Binance. Nagloko bigla yung website ng SGX sa PC and cellphone ko. Para bang on that moment is pinipigilan na pala ako ng mga angels ko na hindi ko alam. Sinabi ko yan kay Chen and he told me that he will help me kung gusto ko ibigay ko na lang yung password ko sa kanya ng SGX ko para ma-chat niya sa akin yung address ng SGX ko. And Jaisel, this is the part 3 ng katangahan ko. Pumayag ako. Hindi ko din alam sa sarili ko ngayon na pumayag ako that time. I let him open my SGX account and he sent me via WhatsApp yung address. Deposit na yung 2,700 USDT. Then after one hour, okay na yung SGX sa phone ko. And we started trading. Okay, so parang usual lang. Wala naman nangyari masama. Alright. Yun na yung pinakamalaking kinita ko for that three times na nag-short-term investment kami. Yung 2.7K USDT ko is now this. Wow! 6,572.36 USDT. So that's around 300,000 something, di ba? Tinanong na niya ako kung saan ko gagamitin yung pera and I told him I will save it. But instead, he told me this will be his birthday gift to me. December kasi birthday ko. So December yata naganap to, ano? And I should spend it to myself and with my family once na nakuha ko na yung money at siya na daw bahala sa future short-term investment pa so I have nothing to worry about. O, di ba? Sana all. <laughs> Sana true. I was so happy that night not knowing that this will be the greatest nightmare of my life. Later that night, I do the same old process of transferring everything of that 6.5k USDT from SGX to Binance. But after 10 minutes, nag bounce back yung 6.5k USDT sa SGX. Hindi natuloy yung transfer. When I try to transfer again, sabi nakalock yung money ko. Oh my goodness, no permission sabi dito. I told him about it and ang sabi niya, I should talk to the customer service. I-chat-chat ko lang daw through the website of SGX I am using. Okay, and here is my conversation with the customer service. So ito, sabi, Hello, I'm sorry that the system automatically detects that your account is suspected of cheating by default. The customer service staff will only inform you of the detected information. Please operate according to the system prompts. I make an appeal, sabi niya. Hello, please rest assured that the platform has its own rules and regulations. Wow, batas! As long as you operate according to the system prompts, the withdrawal channel will be open for you. Galit yata tong, galit yung customer service. May exclamation point. Please double check. I want to make an appeal. Hello, you need to pay. Ay, ito na guys. You need to pay 3,286.18 USDT to provide a handheld photo with ID card. After the payment is complete, the system will review it for you 
after passing the review, you can withdraw the margin and account amount together. Yung mga ganito, yung mga ganitong style, yung pinag-de-deposit ka uli, scam na talaga to. There's no reason for an exchange platform na manghingi ng another balance, okay? Dahil lang nalak yung account. Just to unlock the account, you have to deposit another, you know, 3,285 USDT. And that's not, ano ha, that's not a joke kasi malaking halaga po yan. Oh, that's 150,000 something something, ba diba? Or plus. They accused me of cheating kasi super laki daw ng profit ko that night. So, nakahold ngayon yung pera ko. At pinagbabayad pa nila ako ng another USDT para ma-check daw ng system nila kung nag-cheat ba ako or not. Diyan ko naisip agad na scam pala to. <laughs> Ang dami mong dineposit, ba diba? Sayang, pinangkorea mo na lang sana yan. Mm, makakamit ka pa doon ng totoong oppa. Hello, customer service is very glad to serve you. Good day. I would like to ask if I can pay 2,000 USDT because I really don't have money. All of my money is deposited in SGX. Please consider I'm in need of help. Sorry, the customer service cannot help you. You need to pay 3,286.18 USDT before your account can return to normal. At that time, all your funds can be withdrawn, including your deposit. Walang assurance, guys. Grabe. Para bang... Alam mo yun, hindi mo na nga makuha yung pera mo sa una, tapos magde-deposit ka pa. Kung magde-deposit ka, parang syunga-syunga ka na. Ilang beses ko tinanong, anong sense? Bakit need ko magbayad ulit? Sabi nila para daw tumakbo yung system at ma-check kung nag-cheat pa ako. E eh, sabi ko sa kanila, I have proofs na I'm not cheating like screenshots ng trade ko and why they can't check manually, ba diba? Tama! Wala ba silang mga technical support, ba? Diba? Then, nagalit na yung customer service. Ang sabi nila, they will deduct 30% every day starting tomorrow if I won't pay the amount. Hala sila, grabe. May deduction, may penalty. Sinabi ko kay Chen and he is also pushing me to pay and he told me he will pay the 2,000 USDT. What are you doing? Is your problem solved? Cute? Oh, may <laughs> I won't get my money back anymore. I don't have the money. I already talked to the customer service and they told me I have until tomorrow or else I will lose everything. I can help you with $2,000 here. Can you think of a way for the rest? If not, I have no money to help you now. O, tingnan mo. Kala ko ba big time ka, kuya? Kala ko ba naka Mercedes Benz ka? But hanggang $2,000 lang yung kaya mong i-provide. Lalo na ikaw yung nag-introduce ng website sa kanya, but hindi mo kaya ipaglaban, kuya? They said, after the payment is complete, the system will review. What if my account didn't pass? I don't have the money to pay you back. Don't worry about those problems because we didn't cheat. This money is considered to be given to you by me. I will not let you return it to me. Oh, talaga? If you really want to return it to me, wait until you take it out and then return it. I really don't have extra money on top of 2,000. I gave it all here. Ayun na. Oo, kasi 3,200 something-something hinihingi ni SGX, ba? Diba? So, 2,000 sasagutin daw ni Kuya. And then the rest, si ano na ang sasagot, si JY Mana. What should we do? We can only give up, right? Yes, I don't want to risk anymore. Okay, so eto na. I then tried to investigate the website. And here is what I found. Eto na ang revelation, guys. Okay, so number one. The website is a fake website of SGX and I finally messaged the Facebook page of SGX and here is our conversation. So, this is official SGX uh, Facebook account, ano? We kindly request for some screenshots of the platform you are referring to. Ayan. So, here's the website. Oh! Tingnan nyo naman. Ang website po is www.sgxex.co.co hindi .com sgxex.co oh my goodness the website cannot be reached anymore okay so kahit anong refresh natin girl hindi na po siya nagpapakit So, ito na po yung feedback ng SGX. Thank you for highlighting this to us. Please be informed that neither Singapore Exchange Limited or SGX nor any of its affiliates have any association or partnership with the above-mentioned website or application. SGX official website is at www.sgx.com So, yun po yung tinignan natin a while ago. Yung mga stocks, indices, yun. Wala silang crypto, guys. And the official SGX app is SGX Mobile. So, iba yung mobile application na dinownload niya. 
doon sa... I think yung mobile application na dinownload niya is sinend lang sa kanya na APK or whatsoever. Ganon. It has come to XGX attention to that certain websites and or application use the trade names, trademarks, and such other intellectual property of SGX without any license or rights granted by SGX with the intent to mislead and have to effect misleading the general public that they are associated with SGX and when in fact are not. Once found, SGX will take appropriate actions to take down these offending websites and applications. So please contact us at sgx.com should you have any further queries. Yung website na sinasabi a while ago is sgxex.co ibang iba yung domain niya. Okay, so parang ni-replicate po yung website ni SGX doon. Naskam ako ng over 120,000 which includes 80% of my savings including my 13th month. Happy birthday pa muna. Ang masakit pa nito, pandemic pa that time and magpapas ko at magpa-birthday ko pa. Sobrang sakit kahit ngayon akala ko naka-move on na ako pero ang sakit pa rin pag naiisip ko. Inaway ko siya ng inaway sa WhatsApp and I block him on all social media platforms. Ako yung nag-block sa kanya kasi ayoko ng may scammer na nakatingin sa profile ko. And ang nakakatakot pa dito is nag-provide siya ng ID, selfie, you know, some important information. Hindi mo alam itong mga scammer na to Pwede nilang gamitin ito sa mga iba't ibang ano verification so yun magingat na lang talaga tayo hindi niya inaamin na scammer siya eh. kung yun daw ang paniwala ko eh bahala na daw ako okay so i even email nbi about this pero wala na rin ako natanggap na reply since ibang bansa yung suspect after 4 days of messaging the legit sgx nawala na yung website ng pinag-deposit ko ng money, which is yung sgxex.co slash wap. Nawala na yun, guys. It's gone just like that. Lesson learned! Laging mapanuri sa lahat ng bagay. Huwag na wag maniniwala sa mga tao kahit matagal mo nang kilala. Dapat mapanuri sa mga website. Hindi scam ang crypto. Scam yung website. Yes, that's correct. Yan yung lagi ko sinasabi. Kasi minsan ang iniisip nila si Bitcoin yung scam. Pero no, it's not. It's just the platform that you are using. Huwag nyo akong gayahin na nasilaw sa pera. At sa kagwapuhan ni Kuya. <laughs> Yun lang, sana huwag kayong magpabiktima. Talamak ang Tinder scam. This is new na meron pala ng e-scam sa Tinder. Hindi lang sa Tinder, kundi sa lahat ng mga dating apps. Mostly foreigners na Chinese na sasabihin na meron silang business and they will teach you something like that. Huwag na huwag kayong kakagat. I tried to install my Tinder again and I found him there again. I reported him and most Chinese guys I found on Tinder are all scammers. Minsan hindi sila yung nasa picture. They are just using other person's face para makapangloko ng tao. You will not suspect kasi they have Instagram na madaming followers. So, yun lang, Jazel. Maraming salamat. Sana ma-vlog mo ito para malaman ng maraming tao. Jemima. Oo, mag-ingat na tayo kasi so, sa online, alam niyo, di ba, yung mga scam na, na uso lang yan sa text, sa tawag. Pero ngayon kasi mas lumalawak na yung uh, technology natin. Uh, lahat yung mga tao talaga is gagawa ng paraan para lang makapang-scam lalo na sa panahon ngayon ng pandemic naghahanap talaga ng way para kumita ng pera yun nga lang may mga tao rin na kumakagat sa mga ganitong paraan para kumita which is makapang-scam huwag tayo basta-bastang magta-trust sa mga taong dun lang natin nakilala online and regarding naman sa trading guys there's nothing wrong for you to trade okay as long as alam mo yung risk so yung mga minention yung website a while ago like Binance it's legit Guys, I'm even using Binance myself. So, ayun. Yung SGX a while ago is legit as well. Yun nga lang yung nagamit niyang SGX na poster website is yun yung scam. So, ano ba yung reaction ko, no? Sa palagay ko lang, ha? This is my opinion. Sa palagay ko, marami sila dyan, eh. There are many people behind that account. Ni Chinese, ni Chen Shu. So, maybe... 
ano sila, mga grupo sila ng mga hackers or grupo sila ng mga, ng mga programmers na gumagawa sila ng replica ng isang website and then gagamit sila doon ng isang identity ng isang tao to scam other people. So, ayun guys, I hope na nagkaroon po tayo ng awareness dito sa pinadalang letter sa atin ni Jemima. Kung kayo guys, ay meron din kayo mga scam stories, ayan, huwag po kayong mahiyang mag-send sa akin ng message para, alam niyo yun, to share awareness to every everyone na nanonood po sa ating YouTube channel. Isend nyo lamang po yung inyong detailed story sa ating email na nakalagay po dyan sa ating description box. Send nyo lang po yan sa ating business email which is jazeldevera that business at gmail.com So parang gusto ko na rin maggawa ng ganitong klaseng segment po sa ating YouTube channel ano? maybe once a week or kung kailan tayo makakatanggap ng scam story. Comment down below as well your reaction ano? dito sa nangyari kay Jemima at kung ano yung pwede yung may advice din sa kanya just to give her encouragement and comfort sa kanyang naranasan. So, ito naman ang message ko sa'yo, Jemima, no, sa naranasan mo. I'm really sorry sa nangyari sa'yo na nawalan ka ng ganong kalaking halagang pera. So, don't think of it as a negative thing. Ang mahalaga kasi dyan is natuto tayo sa mga nangyari sa buhay natin, just like that one. And uh, sa lahat ng bagay, maging thankful ka. Ang importante hanggang ngayon, buhay ka, hindi ka talaga totally, alam mo yon yung hindi ka talaga nasaktan dun sa nangyari. Kung baga, ano lang yan, pera lang yan eh. Oo, pwede mo namang kitain yan in the future, ba diba? So, sa mga ganyan nangyayaring bagay, talaga ma-appreciate mo rin yung mga bagay na meron ka pa kahit na wala yung ganong kalaking halaga. So, yun lang yung masasabi ko, Jemima, you just have to be thankful. Yun lang yung nangyari sa'yo. So, yun lang naman guys, and thank you so much for watching this video, and kung na-enjoy mo, to, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell para ma-notify ka sa aking mga uploads. And don't forget to subscribe to my second channel, Jazel Devera Vlogs, okay? So have a nice day, God bless, and goodbye!